Congratulations. Congratulations. You Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut out right. the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bell. Welcome to Heat Wave. It's the Kids in Sync of a podcast. Sometimes about kids video in games. Sync. Kids <laughs> in the sink. Is that what you just said? Yeah, that's what it sounded like you said, and eh. I was amused by that. Well, I'm joined with Brittany Saturn. Oh, I just thought of a new topic. Yeah. Oh, did you bring the dick of- Okay, cool. Well, you can tell us later what is when it? it's your turn. Brittany, tell us. Brittany, what is it? It's yeah. what is the worst song to be covered by Kids Bop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's going to be fun. That's perfect. Yeah. So everyone well, think about it. it. Now we have to do it. Now we have to do it. Oh, God. Over that means I'd have to listen to Kids Bop. Yes. You don't have to. You can just look. You don't have to. Look, all you have to do <laughs> is look at the titles Hutch. and know. I just like no. I have to listen to Kids Bob. <laughs> <God. laughs> um, We're gonna come back next week and Hutch is Doctor Kids Bob, having <laughs> listened to all of every Kids Bob everything that has ever existed. I love it. Um, uh, and as you can tell, I'm welcome to Heat by, Wave. I'm joined by Jarris <laughs> Mitchell and Chris. It's Hutch Hutcherson over the internet. Man, it's a hot one. <laughs> Start with Santana. What? That's <laughs> it's in seven the, inches. Is from it a hot one sun. in the internet yes. or in your house? Because if it's in your house, you should turn down the heat. The, but if what? it's in the internet, I think the internet's overheating, and that's terrifying. Yeah, I, I, you- I would hope that the heat's not on in my house while it's eighty-seven degrees outside. <laughs> Did you guys know, know that um, good pussy smells like the heat from the back of a PS4? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that Lana Del Rey's pussy tastes like Pepsi Cola. I knew that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I have no segues for this. So I don't what's your have topic? Any, I don't have any uh, pussy smells or flavors that I'm aware of uh, in, in like enlightening information here well you better get with it you know what jaris <laughs> just tell us what the fuck we're talking about today today we're gonna talk about which song would be the worst thing for kids bop to cover <laughs> holy shit did he just t- com- he just hijacked my he just thing. completely <laughs> like, yeah, the haters <laughs> what are you doing what now are you i gotta look up songs that yeah kids i was gonna look it up during the break but so ah! Um, are we are we considering every song that they have done, or considering every song every that song they could do? Every song in the do? universe. Okay, since what, the beginning of time. Okay, so the worst one would probably be um, Shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> they did that. I'm pretty sure they did that. I don't hey, I think a... that we can top that one, but we'll see. Let's see. I'm looking up a kids' bops uh, <laughs> it was song me. list. Uh, I, so. Obviously, like any of the raunchy songs. So uh, I would like to read to you uh um, from the uh, lyrics of the Kids Bop version of TikTok by Kesha. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's hear that. I definitely wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses and I'm out the door. (laughs) I'm going to tour this city Mm -hmm. before I leave. Brush my teeth, scrub them nice and clean, because <laughs> when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. <laughs> I'm talking pedicure kidnapped? on our toes, trying on all the clothes, clothes. I could see. Friends I calling could see all the phones, up. phones. Belly flopping, playing our favorite CDs. This Going sounds like a kid's birthday song. parties, about to get a little dizzy. Don't stop, make it rock. DJ, blow my candles out. <laughs> Tonight, I must sight the sunlight. Tick tock on the clock, but the fun don't stop. You know. Oh, 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 oh. 
All right, I've got one for you. I've got one for you. This one, just imagine kids ain't singing. got a care in the world. God damn it, Jersey. We get the memo. Ain't got no money in the pocket because I'm already here. Now the kids are lining to see all the presents, but they kick them to the side unless they look like daggers. What the fuck does that even mean? It doesn't. Uh, you know. But here's the thing, Kids Bop usually slightly changes the lyrics. Yeah, he is reading lyrics from a Kids Bop song. Oh! Yeah. I thought that's it was just the real... Kesha song. No, no, that's the, you know the song TikTok. Yeah, but it's like, uh, yeah, that makes sense, because Mick Jagger is not Dagger, whatever looking like a Dagger is. I don't Mick know what nothing. That It's fucking nothing. It's just no wordy dirds. So, Brittany, I'm not going to steal your thing. Now we're just going to talk about kids bop for a little bit and how it's a fucking crime against art <laughs> so i wonder how they get i guess they get rights to these songs yeah definitely, well, definitely. I, I wonder if it's covered under like parody oh yeah hmm. so so uh, a lot it of, might be a because they times, do the lyrics change yeah yeah let me quickly email our lawyer Oh, there you so, go. So there's a. I clicked on. I went to kidsbop.com uh-huh. and they're up to 40 now. 40 uh, albums? Yes. Okay. Uh, and their latest album had Truth Hurts by Lizzo on it. Perfect. And they changed it to um, I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm a 100% that kid. <laughs> Of course. That, well, that's the <laughs> lamest thing. Yeah. And you you could have oh, had like... a good friend, non committal. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I, I'm just reading it right I now. I went so. the opposite route. I went and looked for a song that would absolutely never be a kids' bop song, <laughs> and I just want you to imagine kids singing this. This is "Runaway" by Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> See, fine. A pictures. damn fine song. It's a really great song, but I'm just going to give you one snippet and just imagine how they would change it. See, finds pictures in my email. I sent that picture, uh, bitch, a picture of my dick. <laughs> I don't know what it is with females, but I'm not too good at that shit. See, I could have me a good girl and still be addicted to them hood rats. Mm-hmm. And I just blame everything on you. At least you know it's what I'm good at. And I just want you to just imagine how they would turn that into a <clears throat> kid's pop song. <laughs> just that one little bit. Yeah. I mean... The, I mean, the chorus is like... Dick to l- l- cat? Yeah. Took like a some picture sort of, of my pet? cat? Okay, yeah. Um, so we have to rhyme cat now with the next one, because he's not too good at that shit. Well, uh, so you know it might be... At it? Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> so, um, I just recently um, realized, uh, like, the whole premise of behind Heya... Is that it's um, about um, a couple that's trying to make a relationship work and it's not working. Okay. Um, and it looks like the lyrics are pretty unchanged for the kids' pop version of it. It's, it's really weird. They just they just tamed it down. Probably like if there was well, there's not too. I can't think of too much dirty words in. Hey, yeah. It's a the, pretty the, clean song for what it was. The the subject matter is a little. More mature oh, sure than I figured they would cover. Not so much the wordy nerds. Oh, that's usually all they give a shit about, though. It's so weird. <clears throat> Kids Bob did cover um, Heartless. By Kanye West? Yeah. That's a, a wild that's choice. <laughs> that is a very wild choice. Now, I love that song, but whoo, I'm kind of curious what the lyrics are like. Are you looking well, at those? I am looking at them, but I don't really remember the original, so if you want to take a look yeah, at yeah. it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll trade phones with you. Um, Yeah, it's just, well, also, you have to consider, like, so they change these songs, but it's also, like, a chorus of children singing about these things. Yeah. So it's just something about that just creeps me out. And yeah. I imagine that it's never like <clears throat> kids who want to hear these. It's always like parents who are like, you can listen to this. Because I remember buying a lot of, um, now that's what I call music uh, as a kid. And I hated all of those songs because they, they, it was like the radio edit. I wanted like all of the bad words in the song. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that was like, I still bought it because it was the best way to get like the hits all on one CD instead of buying like each individual artist CD. Um, but I was like, I remember being annoyed that like, man, I wish they said damn or I wish they said shit <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> There can, is, can I say there, on a side note that now is up to 105? Oh, albums. I thought it was 40. <laughs> oh, my oh God. no. Just oh, there's kidding. y'all. Genius.com has mm-hmm. Kids Bop listed as an artist, so you can pull the lyrics for all of their things. And wow. I'm looking at Old Town Road. Oh, boy. And uh, it marks when it's changed from the original version. Oh really? Yeah, so that's really fucking useful. That yeah. is really. For example, useful. in verse com? two of Old Town Road, riding on my tractor, riding on my bladder. What? Riding <laughs> on my bladder was changed from lean all in my bladder because we don't want to endorse consuming crime drugs. <laughs> But the weird shit is the next line, cheated on my baby, you can go and ask her, is unchanged in the Kids Bop version. I don't, I don't, I can't. This is so fucking weird and bizarre. (laughs) It's, it's, it gets weirder. So bull riding and boobies is a line following Mm. that. And they changed it to bull riding and bougie bougie <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah i don't know so doesn't <clears throat> doesn't have to make sense the kids don't care so i got really confused one day and i was watching tv and a commercial came on but and i thought it was for, i thought it was a kids bop commercial but it was just cars for kids <laughs> commercial and i for the longest time, I put them together as the same thing. I Cars for kids? Yeah, like it's because the commercial is always like shitty with the course. Uh, I don't know what does you Does anyone mean? else know what she's talking no. about? You guys mm-hmm. never heard Cars for Kids? No. Nope. 800 no. Cars for Kids. It's a really shitty fucking jingle. <laughs> No. Okay, well. Who's selling cars I, I, to children? I don't want kids, kids on the road. Kids can't drive. <laughs> There's a fucking weird charity thing called Cars for Kids. I don't know. <clears throat> well, never mind. If anyone uh, knows what I'm talking about, <laughs> fucking leave a comment so I don't feel so bad. Uh... <laughs> Nobody leave a comment. No, I mean, last time someone did leave a comment and... Uh, that was nice. Thanks, that one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, great. Until, I know, until I know we're doing this podcast for me and all of you, like, it's for us. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is just, this is about we. We don't need to put any structures on it. I'm looking for a Kanye West song on the genius I wonder, uh, like, whose job it is to go in and change these lyrics. Do you think it's, like, a team of bet, people, or do you think it's, like, one person? I bet it is a very bloated team. I bet there are, like, 30 people on that team, but only one of them actually does work. Yeah. Oh, and no, the rest no, no. of them just, like, go to meetings. <laughs> no, excuse me. You're 100% right, except none of them do any work, and they hire a contractor. One contractor who mm. does all of it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They're they're more strategic. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to hear? Let's look at the kids' bop version of All Star. Oh boy, that's I'd probably never... the same. Uh, yeah, it's mostly there's... the same. It's it, yeah. That one was pretty pretty tame as it. It is. seems like they don't really care that much about the meaning of the song. They care more right. about the words because yeah. they've covered some like weird songs. It's like. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't give a fuck. Kids can listen to whatever they want to. But if you're going to make an album that's specifically censored for children, (laughs) some of the songs they pick are strange. The weirdest. I think they did this one. I might be having a fever dream and be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure that they did Nickelback's Rockstar. (laughs) And that's just a fucked up song to do for kids because it's literally about having a coked out binge. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Do you guys know that they've been doing tours since 2014? What? Who's doing these tours? What? <laughs> There's a Kids Bop 
tour? I just assumed that the chorus was just like random children they found on the street. And they were like, you want five dollars? <laughs> hey, this- kid, you want to make five dollars? <laughs> Come up to the studio <laughs> and you sing star. these songs. <laughs> but I guess they're like a group of kids, like a pop group, like, my name's Andy, or whatever. Some like, weird Mickey Mouse bullshit. Yeah, they just come out like, this is what I do. In Uptown Funk, they changed, I'm too hot, hot yeah, or hot damn, to, I'm too hot, hot yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, hot I've, yeah. I've, hot yeah. <laughs> I found an article from Time Magazine. <laughs> I feel like what? Okay, uh, it's the top five most uncomfortable kids' bop videos, and I think we should just put a link <laughs> a link to this in okay. the description because we can't watch them now. But apparently, it's just like the videos themselves are very cringy. Okay, like they're they mm. covered "So What" by Pink, and it says. Uh, what makes us squeamish is the near demonic giddiness smeared across her awkward little face as while shouting, I'm going to start a fight. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes it me says, really happy. It says, all while inexplicably staring out at a yacht, mind you. So <laughs> I think, mean, like, homework, we all have to watch these terrible videos. <laughs> okay. I've never seen a kid's bot video. I guess they make music videos to go with them, too. This is news to wow. me. Wow. I didn't realize that it was such a big thing. <laughs> I feel like I've seen they they did a video for thrift shop, which okay. was just a bunch of kids wearing faux mink coats and shit. Okay, <laughs> well, Macklemore is kind of the kids' bop of rappers. Yeah, I can see that. You know, mm. I just realized um, the band Ninja Sex Party is the opposite is the polar opposite to kids' bop because they just yeah. say they say incoherent things, but they put curse words into it. So like one of the, the there's a song by them where they just go rock fuck instead of fuck yeah yeah they'll be a, like or like hell yeah or anything like that they'll be like rock fuck that's the that's the thing that they say rock fuck rock fuck. and they Don't. market the kids <laughs> <laughs> Don't they, fuck a rock they kind of do <laughs> <laughs> I mean the Game Grumps demographic does uh, lean pretty low. If you're so. a fan of Aaron Hansen, we'll get a load of this, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hello, fellow kids. Which one is your favorite Backstreet's boy? <laughs> Backstreet's boy. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. Nobody type that into Google. I- I'm going to is right it a different when thing? I'm editing this podcast probably. later. It's probably just porn. You know what? Guys, we never set an alarm for this. You know what? (laughs) Let's just go ahead and call it unless anyone has anything else to say. What is on Kids Bop 2020? Old Town Road, Don't Call Me Up, Senorita, I Don't Care. Of course. Seven Rings, I don't know any of these songs. Sunflower, uh, Without Me. Yeah, that's from the Spidersmans. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, I know that Mm -hmm. one. Without Me, Just Got Paid, Somebody You Loved beautiful people is that the marilyn manson one i hope so i really <laughs> it hope can't so be. it can't be but i hope it is because that would be amazing by the way the number one cringiest kids bop video is kryptonite by three doors down <laughs> <laughs> oh that kind of gives me life because the video itself was cringy like the original yeah well imagine that video but a bunch of kids doing it no i i mean sad thing is i very much can <laughs> Ugh, yeah, kids bought. What are you doing? They must be making money some way. <laughs> By selling on uh, Nickelodeon. Just selling to parents a bunch are of like, carrots. oh, I can trust that to be wholesome in words, but not in content. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's just a bunch of Karens fucking buying shit so they don't have to listen Whoa, to Whoa, using like, the kids case music. slur on here? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> All right. Bring well. me the Jairus. <laughs> Guys, uh, I don't know what else we can talk about. Is that about your Joker impression? <laughs> Clutch. <laughs> I we wasn't really going for anything. Man. We but... live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. I want to see the kids bop call me maybe, which is exactly the same. Beautiful.